Hey folks, welcome back. We're here at Amber Oaks Ranch and I'm gonna replace this uh, drop axle on my cattle trailer. Um, embarrassingly enough, I failed to uh, put the uh, receiver on the ball all the way, you know, I failed to lock it. And the trailer uh, came off the hitch and bounced around a bit and it bent this, uh, this axle. You can see a little bit of a bend in there and ruined the hub and bearings, of course. And it did likewise to the other axle. I've already replaced that. So I'm gonna show you here today uh, how I'm gonna go about changing this axle. Um, this is a uh, three and a half ton axle, but pretty much the same for a seven ton, eight ton axle. Uh, so I'm going to, uh, I got a new axle, and so we're gonna get that ready, and then we're gonna remove this one and install a new one. All right, got a lot of wind noise here today, so bear with me. Um, we've got the axle, I've uh, got it up here on the bench, just resting. Uh, when you're buying an axle, you know, you need to know, first off, the weight capacity. Uh, this is a three and a half ton, as I said, they come in seven and eight ton. Um, you'll also need to know the bolt pattern, and the websites are pretty good. Whenever you're looking to buy one of these, they'll tell you how to measure the bolt pattern that fits your wheel. Uh, this one comes pre-installed with the hub, uh, which is good because, as I said, I destroyed the uh, bearings and, and, and scored the hub up. Uh, so it's just easier for me to get a whole new axle and install it. Uh, what you'll need also is uh, one of these saddles. Now, sometimes these come pre-installed. You'll, you'll need a set, two of these. They come pre-installed and welded in place, and so you'll need to know the distance between your leaf springs if it's uh, pre-welded. And, and that'll be part of the description of the axle you're getting. Uh, so this is gonna sit here. I'm gonna weld that in place. And then these U-bolts will uh, sandwich uh, down over top of the leaf springs. And that's what holds your axle onto the leaf springs and thus the trailer. So I'm gonna measure this out, uh, weld these in place, and then take this over to the trailer and install it. Okay, I've laid out the uh, location for my saddles my leaf springs are 54 inches from outside to outside so i found the center line here uh, of the shaft measuring off of uh, this flange here which is quite a challenge uh, and then just measured out uh, 27 inches uh, to the location of the saddle the outside of the saddle you know it's important to get this vertical because you want to maximum uh, take it, take advantage of the maximum drop that you can, but it doesn't have to be precise. Uh, I'm using a level here to make sure that both of my saddles are relative to one another in, in the same orientation. So I'm going to, uh, you know, remove some paint there, put a weld bead across there on both of those, and then that ought to do it for the axle, and it should be ready to install. All right, we're back here at the uh, old axle. As you can see, I just took a sawzall, cut through the bolts hit them with a hammer and they'll pop off okay and then uh, you can get this axle out of here so the chore is going to be getting the new axle in it uh, helps if you have two people uh, but we're making quick work of this so all right folks that's it it's as simple as that 30 minutes to an hour depending on uh, how well rehearsed you are and thanks for watching appreciate you following along please give me a subscribe and a like and we'll see you down the road on a future project.